this is just not right. Kathy Stack is caught in the middle of a stalemate. Her home on Knollwood Drive in Merrimack has a well that tested at 74 parts per trillion for perfluorochemicals, just above the state health advisory. She receives bottled water, but St. Gobain, about two and a half miles away, is denying responsibility for the contamination and refusing to connect her home to public water, as it is done for hundreds of local properties. State officials confirm five other homeowners in Merrimack are in the same predicament. We didn't contaminate our wells ourselves. This was done to us, yet nothing is being done. Kathy says no one has any answers and she's not sure who can help. Sort of a feeling of abandonment. You're a bummer, too bad for you, you're out on your own. Clean water advocate and state rep Mindy Mesmer of Rye says DES needs to step in. I think that the state should move forward with uh, um, uh, providing a, uh, a permanent water source for those people and then cost recover like Vermont's going to do. Vermont took St. Gobain to court and won a $20 million settlement in July. DES has tried to work with the company, but in regards to the contaminated wells in dispute, the state says, quote, these properties remain the subject of active negotiations between NHDES and St. Gobain. NHDES is hopeful that these negotiations will be successful in providing a permanent clean drinking water solution to the impacted properties. While the state is still in negotiations over these properties, Kathy Stack says more talk is not what's needed right now. Take action, do something, because damage was caused. There is harm that resulted from this. Somebody caused it. We didn't do it to ourselves. Attempts to reach St. Gobain for comment were not successful. In Merrimack, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.